Hi, I'm Tony from Inconsult and welcome to One Minute Risk Manager. Today I'm going to talk to you about the risk heat map, what it means and how to use it to help you manage risks. Most risks can be measured by simply considering two things. One, the likelihood of the risk occurring and two, the consequences of the risk should it occur. When you combine these two factors, you can plot them on a two-axis grid, most commonly referred to as a heat map. The heat map plots the likelihood on one axis and the consequence on the other. The risk rating is where the two points meet. The heat map is a good visualisation of risks, allowing you to see the big picture. It can be a 3x3 grid, a 5x5 grid or another variation. The most popular heat map is a 5x5 grid. A 5x5 heat map grid is divided into 25 cells each representing different levels of risk. It's common to translate these 25 cells into four or five colours, where each colour means something. For example, red is often used for extreme risk and green is used for low risk. The heat map can also show you risks in different dimensions. Inherent risk and residual risk levels uh, for a particular point in time, the range of risks in an area, say finance, the top 10 risks for the whole organisation, the cluster of risks by risk category or risk area. The heat map is a simple way to represent risks in a visual way. The better the quality of your risk assessment, then the better the quality of the information on your risk heat map. Thank you for watching One Minute Risk Manager. If you think managing risk is too hard, think again. Find out more at inconsult.com.au.